Hello YouTube, we're here under the lights at the Milwaukee Mile for race 8 of the Cheetos, NRC Cheetos IndyCar Series. Uh, as you see, they're running kind of close on time here now. Mike Wagner and Harrison Buckeye on your front row. And here's your command. Drivers, start your engines! Last week's winner, Austin Ogo. Starting towards the back. Actually, maybe a Inside of the this row from the back. So yeah, starting towards the back actually. Other members of the top. Uh, 10 here. Amy Shelley, your points leader with, alongside Georgie Mack. Kyle Thomas, Jake Williams, Dakota Brandon, Bo Schiff, Stephen Paul III, and Jacob Budge. Yeah. Mike Wagner, his first pull of the year. Poor camera angle there coming off of turn number four. Should be interesting. We got 40 laps here in Milwaukee, maybe some pit stops, and we're underway. Mike Wagner is going to clear Harrison Buckeye as they go into turn number one, and but Harrison's not going to have the line there. In fact, they're touching, they're rubbing as they come off of turn number two. Oh, Drew Austin's up and over, I think. Big wreck. Including last week's winner. Oh, wow. Oh! Shades of Indianapolis is Samantha Emerson. Uh. Okay, this should be interesting. We'll end up trying to diagnose what happened. Jacob Bud's got a ton of damage to that number 13. He's done for the day. Georgie Max with a lot of damage. Drew Austin, I saw go up and over, I think. Bo Schiff is done. That car is smoking. Literally. Daniel Day is smoking. You're the NRC president. Not going to finish the race either. Oil leak on the three. I'm going to wait to see what the 13 is going to retire from. And we'll take a look back at what happened. Piston. We'll take you back to show you what happened to bring out the caution. Back here's where I saw it start. This is the first guy I saw go around. Yep, Drew Austin goes up and over. Steve probably gets put in the wall by the 12 of Charles Sanford. Then Harrison Buckeye and Amy Shelley and Georgie Max get into the wall coming off of four. Around they go and Bo Schiff and Amy Shelley go up and over. These are cars that aren't meant to go up and over, folks. What happened to send Amy Shelley up and over? Oh my god. Jacob Bud turns the 30. He sends him up and over. Steven puts the 27 up and over. Daniel hits the 27 while she's upside down.
the ride for Amy Shelley. Of course, IndyCar is not giving us too much information on conditions or either the hot uh, infield medical center. If we get word, we'll definitely share it on. But dang, we'll bring you back to the green flag. And we're back. Lights on the pace car. We'll have five laps complete. These drivers all have retired. It's Bo Schiff, Jacob Bud, Harrison Buckeye, Amy Shelley, Daniel Day, and Samantha Emerson, 26. Mike Wagner, Kyle Thomas, Dakota Brandon, Jake Williams, Evan Gattuso, Paul Swanson, Card Pollard, Carlos Johnson, Steve Pollard, and James Shelley is your top 10. Pace cars already off, and we're back underway. Kyle Thomas going for the race lead as they go through turns one and two. So Mike will lead the first five laps and get shoveled, shoveled to the back. Contact! Evan Gattuso's in the wall! Saved it. But the caution's out as Drew Austin goes around. No words as they came back to the flag. That's why I didn't say anything. Come on, Drew, be smart. I'm going to assume no caution or no pit stops here. Yeah, no caution or no pit stops will bring you back to the reason for the caution. And we're back. Here's where I saw it start between Evan Gattuso and Jake Williams. This is a terrible lag there. And Carlos Johnson gets sent off the wall. Drew Austin got turned off the corner in a separate incident. Oh, Reinick got the wall pretty good. And then Sanford turns to 34. And then off of this corner, I don't remember who it was. Someone got turned. James Shelley and Tom Gerard for James. Kind of all in the same pack. Nice. Oh, last week's winner, Austin Ogo, turns to James Shelley. We'll bring you back to the green flag. We're back. There will be 10 laps complete when we get the green flag. We have confirmation that those six drivers have all retired. Did you see the reasoning there? The top 10 on the restart will be Kyle Thomas, Mike Wagner, Dakota Brandon with some slight wing damage, Evan Gattuso, Card Pollard, Steve Pollard, Paul Swanson desperately wanting a good run, Adam Derrickson, Carlos Johnson, and James Shelley. flag back in the air and Kyle Thomas is your race leader. Hello. Car Pollard with a save. Evan Gattuso is not able to. Oh and Charles Sanford. Well, Samper and Tom Gerard are making a pit stop now with the pit road closed. Charles retiring. Evan Gattuso pitting. Not yet retired though. do 
just watch to see if the leaders pit. No, they don't. So we'll take you back to the reason for the caution. We're back. Sorry, I just started playing and I didn't see this basic thing that's been going on in hard contact from 12. Surprisingly, no one went around on the front straightaway. Looks like some slight suspension issues. We'll take a rear chase look at the Take you back to the green flag though with Kyle Thomas, your race leader. And we're back. Charles Sanford, Evan Gattuso both retiring from that last incident. Tom Gerard went one lap down, but he'll be starting at the tail end of the field because they IndyCar officials have decided to take away the double foul restarts. Kyle Thomas, Dakota Brandon, Mike Wagner, Steve Pollard, Paul Swanson, Austin Ogo, James Shelley, Tommy Reinick. William Duncan and Jordan Balkowitz, your top 10, and oh my gosh, look at that 38 car. Green flag, back in the air. This looks a little bit nervous, right here. Uh, I'm a little nervous of that. Uh, round they go. Austin Ogo, Dakota Brandon, Jeffrey Buckeyes in it. Cody Moore, Card Pollard, Stephen Pollard the third, his day is done. Cody Moore. Let's see, first if the leaders pit. I doubt they will because they keep getting enough time, chances here to save some fuel. They do not. We'll take you back to see what happened to bring out the caution. Come back, we'll first take a look at Austin Ogo's and so you see kind of a staggered four wide. See Dakota Brandon going around. Jeffrey Buckeye's in this one. There's Steven. There's Card Pollard also getting in it. Take a look real quick at the cut of Brandon, see what happened to him, and we might take an onboard or two. See, he bounced off the wall and then gets turned by Mike Wagner. Nice save by James Shelley. He sees all the incidents happening. Steven gets into both of them. I think we'll take an we'll take an onboard with him. See what he saw from the cockpit of that car. <laughs> Unfortunate for him, nothing. He could see both of them start, but I don't think there's any way really of avoiding that with Stephen Bob the third. So his day is done. We'll take you back to your restart almost at the halfway point. Now we're back. Lights are on the pace car. We'll get the cross flags and the green flag this time by. Last week's winner, Austin Ogo, Dakota Brandon, Stephen Paul III, and Jeffrey Buckeye, the new retirees. Once again, oh wow, this time Tom Gerard's going to be in between 13th and 12th on this restart. And you saw there are only 18 cars still running, and only about half the field is on the lead lap. So, no, only Tom Gerard on the on the one lap down list, but or is uh, one or more is uh, sorry, Tom Gerard is the only guy not on the lead lap. 17 cars on the lead lap. Let me get the green flag. And if you think this race is crazy. Look out, we're going to Iowa next week, so, for race nine, so look out. That should be a one heck of a race, too. So the green flag back in the air. Has been updated. Uh, 
sorry if that in there. Sorry if that got in there, um, honestly. It's the first time I've had that happen during the recording. Oh, Steve Paul just got turned. He's on the wall. Just remarkable. Are they still wrecking back there? Tom Gerard's in the wall. Steve Pollard just rode the wall. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Mike Wagner's day is done. I believe Steve Pollard's day is also done. So yeah, your pole sitter is going to retire. Oh, well, maybe not. They don't. Not immediately, at least. There's Dump Pit. We'll take you back to see what happened to put Steve Pollard on the wall. And we're back. Here's what happened to Steve Pollard. One heck of a ride in Milwaukee. Gets up and rides the wall. Oh, and Paul Swanson goes up and out. I think that's Paul Swanson. Either or Georgie Max. That is indeed Paul Swanson. Getting turned by Card Pollard and going up and over. Rides the wall, Paul Swanson catches some air. Amazingly enough, looks like he can continue on. Look at the rear wing. <laughs> that rear wing's into the tires. Oh, and yeah, and Tom Gerard got the wall. I'd be surprised if your top 10's still running at the end of this race, folks. Sorry. Uh, we'll take you back to the green flag now. And we're back. Did you see there? Lap 25 right now. Mike Wagner and Steve Pod both retire. Todd Thomas, Tommy Reinick, James Shelley, Jordan Balkin, Adam Derrickson, Jordan Balkowitz, May Shelley, William Duncan, Georgie Max, and Drew Austin is your top 10. The rest of your field is Jake Williams, Cody Moore, Carlos Johnson, Tom Gerard is 16th one lap down. Paul Swanson somehow still running in that car. And Card Pollard. I'd be honest, if I had a co-commentary, I'd ask him who he feels is going to get wrecked next. But, oh well, we have one to go. Field is coming through turns three and four, and I know Steven would hate to see that, is going to hate seeing that logo up there in turn four. Green flag is back in the air, but for how long? Caution's already out. Looks like May Shelley and Georgie Max. Hard Pollard heading to pit road as well. So, assuming that they don't pit, uh, well, we'll see if they pit and then we'll take you back to see what happened because I have no clue. Okay, we'll take you back to see what happened to bring out the caution. Now we're back. Apparently, here's where it started. Teammates collide. Georgie Max turns May Shelley. 
Oops, I guess I paused it there. Oh no, I must have clicked out of the screen. Then, oh, Paul Swanson tries to take out Carlos Johnson. Going down to turn number three, goes a little high, makes some contact, and around they go. So apparently Paul wanted to end his day early. Just retire then if you want to end it early. With that, we'll take you back with Kyle Thomas, the only clean car left in the race, as your leader. Now we're back. No new retired cars, but there's only 14 cars left on the lead lap. Kyle Thomas, Tommy Reinick, James Shelley. Adam Derrickson looks a little, still pretty clean on that car. William Duncan, Cody Moore, Jordan Balkan, Jake Williams, Drew Austin, Carlos Johnson, and Paul Swanson, Jordan Balk with May Shelley, and Georgie Mack. Green flag back out. And we're underway. Tommy Reinick's going to try and make a move, though. Emphasis on the try. Yeah, 21 still, well, looked clean. Nice save, though. Hey, we actually made it through two turns without bringing out caution. Still going to watch the hornet's nest that is this. Oh, that's not going to end well. This ain't going to end well. Four wide into turn one. Somehow, I guess, made it work. Spoke too soon. James Shelley's around. These two are battling for a position in the top... Wait a minute, that's got to be in the top five. Paul Swanson is running in fourth. How? With all that damage, is he running in fourth? We'll keep an eye on the leaders long enough to see if they pit. And then we'll bring you back to the reason for the caution. They do not. There's James Shelley, and we'll take you back to the... We'll, like I said, we'll take you back to the caution. And we're back once again. We have a car catching air, and this time it is Mr. James Shelley. About two revolutions. I just gotta say something. How is it that. I believe it was Carlos Johnson also in there. How did they make a four wide? Actually, it was one heck of a save by Jake Williams that caused that four wide. So how did Carlos Johnson end up on the apron? What was Drew Austin? Oh, and trying to avoid a wreck, they end up dropping down to the apron. Okay. We'll take you back to the green flag with Kyle Thomas once again in your race leader. And we're back. No new retirees. No new left cars. Kyle Thomas, Tommy Reinick, Adam Derrickson. Paul Swanson, Jordan Balkin, May Shelley, Drew Austin, Carlos Johnson, Cody Moore, Georgie Max is your top 10. Then it's Jordan Balkowitz, Jake Williams, William Duncan, and James Shelley just came back out on the track. Oh my gosh. Adam Derrickson kind of looking for some redemption. It looked like he was going to win at uh, Texas, I mean blew up. Uh, oh well. We'll have four laps to go when they get to the stripe. Green flag is out. Adam Derrickson going for second. 
Oh boy. Paul Swanson for third. Nifty little move. James Shelley's on pit road. Oh, Paul! Up and over once again. I'd suggest maybe going home, Paul. Uh, just pack it up, I would say. That might be your best bet. It just obviously is not working well today. That's four. That's the at least the second time you've seen it. Kyle Thomas, once again your race leader. The race is now over, though, because they'll be coming to two to go. So there's your race winner. Adam Derrickson is second. May Shelley, third. No card Pollard is not fourth. Cody Moore, card number four is fourth. Tommy's going to pit, though, so Jordan Balkowitz comes out in fifth. It's Jordan Balkin, Carlos Johnson, Jordy, Georgie Max, William Duncan, Tom... Or Drew Awesome would be 10th. Jake Williams is 12th. Or would be 11th, I mean. I'll take you back to see what happened. Oh! And so, wow! Paul Swanson taking my recommendation and then taking it out on Tommy Reinick. We'll take you back to see what happened and then maybe why Paul Swanson is so angry at Tommy Reinick. Back and I took you took it back to turn number two because this is where it all kind of starts. And I think I figured out why Paul is not so happy. He gets put up into the fence, I guess, by Tommy. But to be fair, Paul's not giving him exact room here or too much room. And just keeps pushing up, pushing up, and then Tommy just had enough. And Jordan Balkin got put into the fence as well at 83. What happened to Jordan here? A little bit too far. I wasn't intending that one. And Carlos Johnson sliding up the track gets into him. But yeah, Paul, I guess, not too happy. Look at what he decides to do. And I'm not sure Cheetos IndyCar Series officials are going to be too happy with Mr. Swanson after this one. Tommy Reinick's already coming out of his pit. He was just getting some basic service done, it looks like. Paul sees an opportunity here. Slows down. And I know Tommy didn't give him exact room, too much room there to try and get into his pit, but... I mean, he could have just slid in behind. He sees him coming out. He's already slowing down. He's... Makes it look like he's just going ahead and going to go ahead and get in behind him. But then decides to pull up alongside. Slows it way down. Then decides to turn into his pit while Tommy's right alongside of him. Not sure what Paul Swanson was trying to do there, but... I'm not sure Chio's IndyCar Series officials are too happy with him right now after that move. We'll take you back to the checkered flag and show you your race winning, or your race winner and your results here today. And here you go. We'll just show you as they come across the start finish line right now. I don't know what. I don't know. Oh well, your race winner is right there. 
and look at your official results now here today. Kyle Thomas, Adam Derrickson, May Shelley, Cody Moore, and Jordan Balkowitz, your top five. Jordan Balkin, then Carlos Johnson, Georgie Max, William Duncan, Drew Austin, the top ten. Jake Williams, Tommy Reinick, James Shelley, Carl Pollard, and Tom Gerard round out who was on the track at the finish. And we're hearing Paul Swanson has been invited to the hauler to talk about his actions that he took on Mr. Reinick during that ra uh, during the race. We'll see how uh, what official word comes down from that. Um, congrats to Kyle Thomas. Heads up, Doritos will either be actually I kind of put myself in a box when I said when Coke was going to be up, but yeah, Doritos would be tomorrow. Coke Vanilla is going to be uh, race 13 from oh, actually here, I can tell you what all of them are going to be. Dori the next Doritos race is going to be at Dover. That'll be up Saturday. Or tomorrow, I mean. Coke Vanilla Cup Series race 13 from Pocono will be Sunday and we'll be back for Cheetos the Cheetos IndyCar series at Iowa uh, on Monday this has been Gorn Fan 291 bringing you the NRC Cheetos IndyCar series here come the points